hi friends we have a power supply here this is of tp link you can see if i will show you the specs for this one uh, you can see this is some 9 volt and 0 0.6 ampere this is something half an ampere uh, and this is from 100 volt to 240 volt input uh, these power supplies are very very much common and they are used everywhere they are used with the uh, routers and uh, modems as uh, so one of my friends he had sent it to me uh, for repair or tear down uh, we will see what it is going on inside i will show you tear down also uh, this uh, power supply is not giving any power it is uh, this power output is zero uh, so i am going to break it down so how we will break down uh, this is very very much straightforward procedure I have shown it before in some video you have to have some put some uh, gasoline or a thinner on the body uh, on its uh, whatever this uh, uh, joint because these power supplies they don't have uh, screws nowadays they are, have just uh, glued joints so you have to tap it and this way it will come off you can see the covers have been come off uh, with a little taps and with the gasoline uh, so here what we can see uh, here you can see this uh, crust or this whatever this uh, uh, yellow color or brown color uh, rust you can see this is rusty uh, somewhat what I can see inside uh, the rust is there and uh, it is water damage it seems that water damage is there uh, this brown color rust you, rust you can see and uh, this rust is there on the circuit board we are going to clean it with a with an old toothbrush uh, so this way it had been damaged and we will clean and we'll see if we can repair it if the components are not damaged uh, are not uh, burn out then we can repair this one uh, sometimes you know these tracks traces these are going defective uh, this is a very very much straightforward power supply with a low quality the switching IC is there Mm, and here is what is uh, you know uh, just I can see some defect I will show you the close-up of this defect mm, let us see uh, carefully if you watch it this trace has been broken uh, if I remove the enamel from you can see here you can see this uh, trace is no more and this trace this is coming from the capacitor this is the capacitor which is they are putting on the you know uh, feedback circuits uh, for due to this capacitor the power supplies are not going fail if the, you re remove this capacitor or whatever uh, the, the um, trace is broken as in this case so the power supply will not stop working uh, there will be sure some other problem uh, we will see what's the problem with this one uh, there will be some other problems in this power supply we will see and uh, here now you know, we have to test uh, what is bad uh, for this one we have to grab our multimeter and we will have to set it on the continuity range so then you, we will start testing components first of all the fuse is coming this fuse is coming in the way this is in 220 volt line uh, so this uh, fuse you know uh, this is defective this is showing out of limits ol mm, then later we will check the rect bridge rectifier here are four diodes so these four diodes they should not have continuity uh, on continuity range they should not show anything if they are bad we will see sometimes the fuse is blowing uh, due to some short circuit normally but sometimes very very much fewer times uh, this can blow without any reason here is a low ohmic resistance you know uh, this is showing 0.9 so it is good uh, the MOSFET we will test with a multimeter so MOSFETs are also going defective in such power supplies most MOSFETs are normally going short circuited due to which the fuse is going blowing uh, so here the MOSFET is also also showing good uh, there is no short circuit on the MOSFET so the MOSFET seems good uh, what we can do here now on this stage this fuse is you know blown uh, so this fuse if we will replace uh, we can get voltages I mean 300 volt will come on the capacitors DC so those voltage we can check and uh, then we will see 
uh, here you can see this fuse we rem I removed it from the circuit and this fuse is not that uh, glass fuse as you know uh, this is a resistor type fuse resistance type fuse and this is wire wound you can see the wire has been come off of uh, this fuse and in the middle uh, the material has been broken and so it means that this uh, power supply has got some abuse if we will check out of circuit you can see this is showing infinite out of limits out of limits it should not be it should be very low resistance uh, let us see some other problem on this power supply uh, I will show you here one resistance uh, this one uh, this resistance which I am pointing carefully you can see this is resistance 221 is written on this one 221 21 2 to 1 means 2 2 and 0 means uh, 220 ohms so this is connected in between these two points uh, so this resistance should read in circuit uh, less than 220 or 220 ohms resistance it should read not more than 220 ohms uh, so if it is not it means in circuit we will check if it is high resistance then it means that the resistance is blown or something happened or uh, trace is broken something had been happened with uh, let us see the ohm meter is now the mega the multimeter is on ohm range now uh, it is showing mega ohm resistance so if we will see it is showing some 15 mega ohm 15 mega ohm is very very much high resistance for this 220 ohm resistance so it will never ever read uh, 15 mega ohm uh, or 220 ohm resistance because 220 ohm resistance will always read less than 220 or 220 ohms in circuit mm, so what we can do here uh, first we will have to uh, reflow uh, using our soldering iron and colophony uh, this is a flux I'm using colophony as flux it's a good flux uh, you can use any flux of your choice so I'm going to reflow this resistance with the help of uh, soldering iron if it will become good then it is okay uh, if not then maybe the resistance will be blown I mean that will become open or something like that or become very high resistance uh, so we will take some discrete resistance of the value 220 ohms uh, and we will put it over here I mean we will connect in between these two points uh, people are asking many people are asking this question that either we can put a discrete resistance a, whole, a through hole resistance in place of uh, surface mode resistances so yes it is the answer is uh, you can replace because normally you don't have uh, these surface mode resistance for replacement so you can take one uh, through hole resistance uh, from junk board or whatever from new uh, stock and you can put it in the place uh, now we are going to check it once again as after uh, reflowing so after reflowing you can see this is still 1.2 mega ohm resistance so 1.2 mega ohm resistance is bad for this one uh, this is why because you know uh, the flux has been come in between and the flux is showing some resistance like that mm, what we can do is now uh, we will replace the fuse as well as this 220 ohm resistance so hopefully uh, this power supply will come to life again uh, this video you know just I show uh, the troubleshooting in this video and this video will help many friends uh, who are about to troubleshoot their small power supplies uh, switching power supplies uh, so this way this power supply will be restored this power supply is not of very good quality as you know but as friends are demanding that I have to uh, shoot and upload videos on repair uh, so that's why I'm sharing this video hopefully you would like this video if you liked this video give a big thumbs up and uh, like channel subscribe the channel and press on bell icon and press on all so then you will get notifications thanks